Hello dear friends, I'm Marina from Marstars.net and this is your daily astrology horoscope for the 22nd of March. The most important event, of course, it's Mercury which goes retrograde. It's important, it's uh, something that happens three or four times a year, but we are always concerned about those periods because, as usual, we can expect some kind of complications. Now, generally about Mercury retrograde, we know that this is the time when you should avoid important new projects which you are starting for the very first time. This is something very important. And also all kinds of new contracts, um, plans, trips, negotiations, all of those stuff may not work as well as you have expected. And something positive we should know about Mercury retrograde is that it's the best time to restart your project. If there was something that you have forgotten about or something you didn't have time for, this is the best time to restart those projects. So going back to the past, looking at your past, analyzing certain situations or projects or plans or everything, and you can revision your goals, you can change something in that area and you can restart your old projects. Now, I have another video where I talk in details about the transit of Mercury in retrograde period and also how it will affect each of the zodiac signs. So you can check the link in the description below. Uh, now, I just want to mention that Mercury will be retrograde. Basically, today will be stationary on the 17th degree in Aries. So if you have a planet or cusp of a house, especially if that's your ascendant, around the degree, um, around the same degree in the cardinal signs, you can feel quite strong the influence of uh, this retrograde phase of Mercury. Basically, these are the signs Aries, Libra, Cancer and Capricorn. They can feel stronger the impact of Mercury retrograde because Mercury will square their signs. So guys, be careful, plan your things accordingly and always pay extra attention on details, on information, on everything. Now, the other thing which is important today is also the quintile between Mars and Neptune. And this is an interesting combination. From one side, Mars is all about taking action and being brave and active and so on. And Neptune is the planet which is related more with dreaming and relaxing and, you know, fantasizing, living in your own reality. So there is a little bit of uh, complication here when we have a, co a contact between Mars and Neptune. The challenging side we can be a little bit unmotivated, especially when it comes to some hard work and efforts and physical stuff. But the positive side is that you can be extremely creative and more inspired to do something. It's a wonderful time for more creative activities like dancing or, you know, some spiritual practices as well, like meditations, especially if that's something more active, which includes also working with your physical body. And the last thing which we need to mention today is the position of the moon, which will be in Gemini. Gemini is the sign which is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury retrograde and the moon in Gemini actually activate even more the topic about communication and contacts and connections and contracts and negotiations and basically everything. So be really careful today. I, would, uh, I can say that the stationary period of Mercury is even more challenging than the other part of the retrograde phase and the stationary phase is around one two days so today and tomorrow please be especially careful with all of your plans and all kinds of information and technical stuff and so on so that's the most important today thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you tomorrow